play episode two now. Starved for help. I'm just gonna finish my spaghetti. Here we go. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Yeah, this is where Doug died. Oh man. God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Yeah. Episode two. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey, who Damn. are you? What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Mm. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but Mark. I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. <sighs> ask Lily? You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Gave my opinion about Kenny. guy's deal, anyway. Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Uh. Mm. He thinks I'm a danger to the group. And Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking <laughs> pile driver. Yeah. No, I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, that's right. Can you make that shot? It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me. If I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Okay. What the hell? Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! 
<sighs> What's gonna happen now? Bear trap. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you Come can on. leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Shit. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh this man. Is bad. Oh man. Really bad. Just get me out, please. Lee, oh, do blood stop screaming. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Please, please hurry up. Get me out of this. Why would somebody do Put it? Up. Stop, stop, stop. I'm sorry, man. Let's go, let's go. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. Lee, it has to be now. Ah. Ah, uh, damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! You don't have time for that. I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh
I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, That's Lily. Right. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Oh, man. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? He looks so grumpy. Angry all the time. This is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have four food items for ten hungry people. Shit. Oh man. I have to distribute that now. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted? I did the right thing. Yeah, mm. I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. So who are you people? 
Our group's gonna wanna know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. I gotta take care of Clementine. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. A half an apple, piece of jerky, crackers and cheese. Crackers? Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? <sighs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? <laughs> nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Carly. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Back in a bit. <clears throat> so many people, so little food. Hey, man. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. You told Kenny leaving for the coast was a good idea. Let's talk to the others. <clears throat> it keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. So Carly's keeping us safe. Uh, Kenny saved our life before. He came back to help us when Larry punched us in the face. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. 
You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Uh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. No? Then what did you mean? All right, let's take a step back. Maybe you two should keep your distance. Fine with me. Pretty tense. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. <clears throat> We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Oh. Oh. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. I, I think yeah. I know. Fine. <clears throat> I think I know who I want to give the food to. <clears throat> I think I want to give food to Kenny, Lily, and probably Larry, the grumpy guy. It would be nice to uh, make friends with him, you know? Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Oh, really? Shit. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Oh, heck yes. Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Doc? No. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Do 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 do.
Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. It was that or the walkers. Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Okay. I want to thank... Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get Lily, behind. Lily, because she's been rationing the food before. Carly's the good shot. She's good with a gun. I fed a son. Duck. I only have two pieces of food left. Gosh darn it. What do I do? Maybe she'll be happy if I give food to Larry. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. The others noticed you fed Kenny. Oh, man. Keep the last piece of food for yourself, someone else. I'm very selfless. Uh, so some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let's try Larry. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. I should shove this up your ass, but I'm too hungry. You made a tough choice. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. It is a tough choice. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I Thank you, Carly. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Well, I'm sorry. It's not it's not easy. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god. Ah! 
You okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Conversation Killer. Chapter 2, Episode 2. Okay. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Okay, so this is where you learn about the virus already being inside all living people. So if they die of natural causes, they come back anyway as a walker. Right. It's not the bite that... Does it? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. Yeah. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Should we trust them? Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. Yeah. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Okay. So, this dairy. Good deal. Does really have food? I like that. Or do? We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Uh, Larry knows? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? 
I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's Andy will like remember that. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. St. John Brothers yeah, took note of she that? she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Nine? Nine, including the kids. You forgot Ben. Me? That makes it ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it There's up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a you know lot what? more We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! He's gonna attract zombies. The world out here has gone. Or walkers. To Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Oh. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Brenda. Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? <sighs> we all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Wow. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? 
Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? <sighs> we should do whatever we can to help out. Let's make sure the place is safe. Isn't that the same thing? Well, I do want to help. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs help yeah. securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. All right. Hmm. Pointy. Huh. Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. I just remembered I didn't find Clementine's hat. That sucks. A board? This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. We're fixing the swing. Nice. Put it in the back pocket. <laughs> Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Where can I find rope? Rope is perfect for the swing. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. Meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? 
After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. Said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of Daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Nice. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Used to have these on the front porch of my house growing up. Hope the noise doesn't attract any unwanted guests. Let's get back down, fix the swing, check the perimeter, perimeter, and then um, talk to Andy. All right, this shouldn't be too tough. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. <clears throat> I noticed a um, gate over here. Gonna go check it out. This one. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Oh. Then let's go, Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We can help protect the dairy. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll Andy appreciates your offer to help. Thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Found out that other survivors have stayed at the farm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Okay. I'm going to pause right here. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Let's, um, <clears throat> let's continue. We're going to fix the fence. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Ugh. 
There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Okay. Look at the light. Andy said when this fence is working, <clears throat> the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Yeah. I'm gonna take the arrow. Disgusting. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this That's fence nasty. is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? Noticed my they seem to have this place tied down pretty well. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Oh, on the pole. Anything else? Nope. Oh, man. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Okay. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. <laughs> Button mash. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh no! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! It ain't right! We had a deal! You asshole! Get out of the. Oh. Jeez. Shit. No fuel. Give us the food. Oh, that one. Come on. We can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, move. that fence. Shit. You really think you can fuck with us? You got lucky that time. Over there. Okay. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Get closer. Oh, 
Another one. one. How many of those things did we push down? Get closer! You didn't No! 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 no. Give us the food! Stop it! <laughs> Ew! You okay? Yeah. Barely. Come on. The gate's Oh right shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. But now the gate is open. That's no good. Lee, what's wrong? The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now, we'll have you all sorted out. Thanks, what? Mama. Must be the what kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. <sighs> So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are <laughs> nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Man, I gotta find her hat. <clears throat> no. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Good to know. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts.
Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. <laughs> How could you all bring us to this place? Um... I take it you and Kenny haven't made up? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. <clears throat> I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey, how do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me, and that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him, and don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Of course. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner, and then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Okay, I can't talk to him. Let's go back. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Hell Who the fuck yeah. Are these people in the woods? <laughs> we don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Hell yeah! Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Mm, let's go. We gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Oh, Clementine. Sorry I'm leaving without you. C 
see anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? There's no one here? Sneak up to the camp. Okay then. Scary. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. St. John Derry? Bruh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Empty. Is that a walkie-talkie? No. It's a freestyle. Music, music player. No, camera. All right. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Just water. Crap. Nothing. Everything's empty. Yuck. I don't need that.
All right, can I leave now? No. Am I missing something? What if I can't leave? Hey, bro. Bro. Where'd you go? Come on. I can't do anything else. Hello? There we go. Okay. Can I bring that to Clementine? Her cap. Down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are. But they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What, what the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for... Oh. Okay. God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. Thank you for shopping at Save Lots, Chapter 3. Man. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Nice. Come on. I hope I brought the cap. Man, I, I hope that wasn't the the mother. Clementine's mother. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? 
My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Stop arguing. Jesus. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. You hear the weather? And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay, they're in the barn. Ugh. Did I kill Clementine's mom? Man, I really hope I didn't. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. <sighs> you really like that girl. What's not to like? Just kind of creepy. Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever knew. Oh, suspicion. Come on. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Let's go inside the barn. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. Nothing in here. <clears throat> Empty. Okay. What 
looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It's a feeding trough. Just some fence posts. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? <laughs> yeah. That's hey, about right. Don't use swear words, okay? <laughs> okay. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Alright. Let's check the back door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are <laughs> not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. 
Can I help you boys find something? A screwdriver? <sighs> What's behind the door? Let's find this door, Andy. Just tools. We keep it locked so the people in the woods don't try and grab them. Uh, we'd be dead without them. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Okay. Distract Andy to get him out of the barn. We're gonna break in anyways. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. I don't want to do that. Something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. You got a screwdriver? <laughs> Why do you lock that door? Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. <laughs> Alrighty then. Where can I find that screwdriver? I'm trying to remember if I saw tools anywhere. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Kenny thinks they're hiding something. I'm not sure what exactly, but we're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that barn. Whatever you do, just be careful. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. All right. Screwdriver. Where can I find it? Toolbox. Toolbox. It's a small toolbox. Oh, multi tool. A multi tool. That should be handy. All right. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. <laughs> I will be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom again. I had some cream in my coffee instead of milk today. And. Yeah. World War Three. Maybe World War Four now in my in my belly. <clears throat> we got the multi tool. Are we really gonna do this? I don't want to. He's still over there. No one on the swing. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. 
You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Uh... How's Mark doing? How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. I'm getting a cola. We met a woman at the camp. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Okay, Mama. Are you gonna spill the beans? So, what do y'all keep in the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Oh, man. We uh, still didn't have an option to um, go eat. So I guess I, I, I just have to do this. Actually, first I want to go talk to Danny. nice that they named two characters Andy and Danny because those are the same letters let's see if he actually needs anything what's with the wheelbarrow I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage some bloody clothes things happen on a dairy cut myself darn bad just the other day Danny will remember that everywhere. you seem okay I'm tough I'm gonna go wait for supper then it'll be a good one Right. Man, I dislike having to, uh... You know, break in. But I know that Kenny's curious, and my character is curious. Look at him now. <laughs> <laughs> Where is everybody? They're right here. Okay. I'm gonna try and distract him now. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Oh shit. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Okay, let's do this. False alarm, I'm back. Shit. What the hell? Try distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Okay. Ah. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, I can talk to Larry now. Let's do that first. I didn't get to talk to him before. I like exploring as much as I possibly can when I play games like this. I like learning about the characters. So Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Come on. Soften up a little bit, will ya? Just trying to make friends. <clears throat> what about the generator? I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. What am I gonna do? Power switch. Access panel. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. Oh man. Looks like that belt's driving the uh whatchamacallit. <laughs> Am I really gonna mess this up? Ow! Damn it! The thing is moving fast! Alright. There. That should do it. Fucking Danny. Where'd he find this piece of shit? Fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, son of a fuck. God, this take forever. Frack. Okay. I can't talk to him. Now is our chance. Still, I really dislike doing this. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Food? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! <laughs> okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Uh oh. Oh, I have to do this for all of them? I feel like I'm going to get caught. Oh, a trap. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Are they Dinner time. Are they eating people? Why is there so much blood in there? Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Really? Oh, <laughs> that was weird. You are an angel. Excuse the mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody, okay. He's got a gun. Go get the meal. Oh. This is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. 
I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be Don't tell me we're gonna eat Mark now. That would be disgusting. <sighs> sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Is he, uh, upstairs? Walkers aren't getting through that thing. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. And his baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. Okay, I'm gonna... The bathroom's here. But I want to go upstairs. I want to check on Mark. Hey, Mark. In here. Power cord. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? <laughs> Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Candles. Smart. What do they need so much morphine for? They're eating people for sure. Huh, where is that cord going? That's going to the uh, blocked off section behind the, the hallway downstairs. I wonder if I should connect it. Anything else? No. Mark, thought Brenda said he was up here resting. No. Farm books, cookbooks. No, 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 no. Mary here. Oh, stains. Is that blood? I'm gonna connect it now. Okay. Huh, where is that cord going? Behind the bookcase. Oh shit. Can I close that door? Oh man. Mark! Lee! Mark! What the hell happened? Uh, uh, brothers! What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat. Hang on. Jesus. Nope. Dinner. <laughs> Clementine. Shit. Stop. Stop. Don't. Don't eat that. 
Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh. oh sit your ass down, Lee. Duck this is eating. Just made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. No. What's gotten into you? He just had to stop. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Shit. Don't indulge him, Lily. It's all shit. With this Hi, Jags. Mom, uh, I was eating that. Quiet. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with oh both boy. of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. What? Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in They rural took Mark's world, legs. You're taught not to waste. Shit. This is how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. How are you doing, Jag? That's not a very nice thing to imply. Oh, Andy come on. is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Mark had an arrow in his shoulder. He wouldn't have died. Kenny, get, Kenny, your, gun. get your gun. Kenny, no! Nobody's going no. anywhere. Stop. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the what? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking out of here! Near my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something! Lee? Lee? Oh, stop. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Mark. Have you seen this before? This is my first time playing. Please. Someone. <gasps> so Mark and I was out and clearing the fence, the electrical fence, and he got shot by bandits coming through the woods. He had an arrow in his back shoulder, right shoulder, and um, the lady of the house was going to help him and tend to him, tend to his wounds. And then the dinner bell was ringing and I found something in the back of the barn. It looks like, looks like a slaughterhouse back there. And I was like, man, I hope they're not chopping up people. And then when Mark didn't show up at the dinner table, Instead of just cleaning my hands, I went upstairs and found him without his legs. So now our whole group has been served meat from Mark's legs. And he just came down the stairs and... Uh, shit. I hope... I just hope we don't die. Come on. Oh, perfect. Open the gun! Chapter 4. An achievement called Guess Who's I will tear you fuckers apart coming with to dinner or something. Yo, shit, fucking bastards. Okay, we're we're held captive now. Open this door, god damn it! I will knock the goddamn door down! It it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us oh. did. God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay? You okay, Clementine. They they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family oh. stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Stop, Stop arguing and start thinking. Okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Okay. Dad, please. Larry, calm down. Please 
settled. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention so I can fucking kill them. Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge, even after I saved your fucking life. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, God Not your enemy, I'm damn it. Your enemy, Larry. I... The thing is, in the first episode, we were running from a uh, drugstore, and right as we were about to leave, Larry turned around and punched us in the face and left us for dead. And then K Kenny, with a mustache, he came back and saved us. So now in the second episode, back at the motor lodge, I gave both Duck and Larry food so that they're on our side because they helped me before so I helped them and <laughs> I even gave food to uh, to um, Larry the guy with the red subtitles the angry man and <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like, I, I don't want to fight with him anymore. I want to make friends with him. Just let him calm down, you know? I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Come on, show yourself. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! Let us out now! I got caught you, you Duck Lee. Those fuckers have my help. family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. They're not gonna open the door. Okay. You, you time. Don't give up. Right We're gonna to find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Dad. So I'm thinking the salt licks coffee. and the air conditioner. Shelves, boxes. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, uh, no, his heart. Come on. Easy. Uh, oh God. Dad. Is he gonna die now? Oh no. No. Dad, come on. Dad. Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. If he's dead, he's, he's gonna not he's gonna turn. No, what has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! <sighs> Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back oh my at the first when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Help Lily Wake or up. help Kenny. Wake up. Come on. Lee, Please. Is at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay. Let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Oh, no. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! No. You're putting all of us at risk, Three. you son of a bitch! Four. You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five. No! No! Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. <laughs> I, I just gotta do this. You, man? Headshot. I'm 
I'm sorry. I uh. thought you fucking touch me. <laughs> Too much salt will kill you. That is the chapter five. Is it over? For now. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something Ooh, else. Something that was rough. Different. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. All right. I'm sorry, Lily. He was still lively. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. All right, I think I'm going to have to change. I've tried to save other people, but haven't been successful. So from now on, I think I'm going to, I'm going to change. If someone dies or someone get bit, got bit. Look, if we're going to survive this shit, we've got to work together. I'm gonna do, do, do the hard thing. That's after what she just saw you do. If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Okay. I, I can't check the shelves now. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. If I had something to remove the screws, the multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Oh, Larry has one. Larry has one. Sorry, Lily. I know Larry has a coin. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Okay, let's look at the if look we at them. can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Not coming off that way. If we can remove these, okay, screws, same thing. The AC should come down easily. It's not coming off that way. Kenny, do you have a coin or something? Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, Coin or something. No, 
What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping yes, he did. in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Oh, man. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Back pocket? Huh. He still carried his wallet. Front pocket? A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Why didn't you check the wallet, damn it? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Okay. Let's do this. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Yep. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. I'm trying. Chill, brah. <laughs> okay, what now? There we go. Good. There's our way out, Lee. Is... <sighs> Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I, I, I don't want to send her. <sighs> Encouragement. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're going to be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Please, Clementine, be careful. <gasps> yes. back room we're in the barn I told you there was something up with this room it's a goddamn human slaughterhouse yeah tools tools hay hook hay hook Hell yeah. Brains, lungs. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Mini cattle prod. Nice, a taser. Sweet. Yeah, maybe maybe that's better. 
sickle. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards, all of them. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. Oh shit. Oh man. I gotta tase him. It ain't right making me stay on the all night. I didn't do nothing. They just treat me like this. Hang tight, Larry. Screw up. No, Larry. Kenny. Sorry. What are you doing outside the bar? Oh, shit. Shit. Place, like you said. Uh, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. What's he doing out there? To keep I don't and know. Kill the rest. And I pick which one to keep an eye on. Out the kid. And let me know. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is Lee, my favorite focus. part, too. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Tell me what's going on. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. See where he is now. Holy crap. What's going on? Okay, okay, okay. Oh. oh shit. Taze. Yes. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, no. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. What about Andy? What about Andy? Andy took her. Take the gun. No! He's gonna get shot. Kenny. Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! Just like you didn't kill Jolene! You don't have what it takes! <laughs> Fucking coward! Uh... Oh man... works now. You won't make me kill you! This is so hard. Clementine will remember you spared his life. Yes! Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. Namo, if you're there. I'm enjoying this game so much. It's giving me anxiety, <laughs> but <laughs> taking Charlotte, chapter six, episode two. Okay. Kenny! Where did he go?
He's in the house. Someone's in the cornfield. Shit. I gotta start the generator. Oh. Oh. Carly. Lee. Ow. Shh. Is everyone okay? You guys have been gone way too long. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. I'm getting some worry wrinkles from this for sure. Oh man. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set a bound. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Where are Katja and the kid? Oh, shit. Come Let me go! No. Lee! Get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go! Open around, didn't ya? Let her go, Brenda! Oh, shit! 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 What can I do? Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there, I mean it. Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh shit, okay. The zombie. That mark. What, what happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just stop, Brenda. Please. Take another step. I don't want to kill you, Lee. This, this dairy was your bride. Look what you've done to it. Shit. That ain't gonna happen. Andy. We have Carly. No. No. Andy. Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Calm down. Calm down. What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline. Huh? Oh. Oh shit. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh shit. No. 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 <laughs> no. Uh. Shit. Lily. Ah. Huh. 
Oh, Kenny's all right. Jesus Christ. No, you, <laughs> you ain't shit. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Danny Mama get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> They're not coming. What do you mean? Lee? What the fuck do you mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Fight me like a man, Lee! Lee! Fight like a dairy farmer. Chapter 7, Episode 2. Another achievement. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy... We might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. Tied in just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katja managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Oh, the camera. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's going to be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? Uh. You're no hero. You destroyed two lives in that meat locker. Kenny, you're not a bad man, but fuck. What the hell are we going to do now? I'm sorry. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead?
We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. It's the belt... Uh beeping sound Did someone crash don't shoot we're here to help Figures. Oh, it's empty. Oh, crap. No gas. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. But where's the person? This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. More food in here. Supplies? I'll take it. And a hoodie Great. for Clementine. We'll survive this after So she can stay warm. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. You convinced Clementine that it's okay to take the hoodie. Oh. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here. Yes, Here I want to check the camcorder's uh, contents. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not going to let me live that down, are you? <laughs> she put the batteries in the wrong way in a radio oh, back at the drugstore. Lee, you're going to want to see this. Oh, shit. It's not stealing if you need it. Complete episode two, starved for help. They were recording us? Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots! They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking raping Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? 
I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you are thinking it, you're I'll safe, you know. sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. So the bandits are coming after us now? Probably. Next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to Shit. do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases in it, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> chopped David's leg off. You and 84% of players chopped his leg off. Shot Jolene. You and 87% of players had Danny Shooter. Yes. Helped kill Larry. You and 68% of players didn't help. Yeah, 68% of the players were trying to save him. Revenge. Killed both of the St. John's brothers. You and 82% of players didn't kill both brothers. So people are actually trying to play this game as a good guy. Just like, just like I am. Survival. Stole food from the car. 55% of players stole food. Okay. Wow.